This is Richard Phillips reporting for the World Socialist website from Wollongong on the New South Wales south coast. We spent a day speaking with students, young people and unemployed about Blue Scope Steel's announcement that it was axing over a thousand jobs from its steel mills. Youth unemployment in this area is already 30%. get my hand in on anything but mainly trying to get myself a trade in carpentry. There's just nothing here. All the works either Canberra, Melbourne, Sydney or Brisbane. Or even Newcastle. So what do you think about the uh, closure of you? Um, I think it's bad because I think a lot of people there have kids and it's going to affect the family. And your dad works with you? Um, yeah, he works with the trucks and stuff. I'm looking for work, um, I'm still doing, I have been since the age of 16, I've applied over for about 200 jobs and I still haven't got anywhere so I've only had about probably three jobs in the last probably two years since I've lived in here in Wollongong for the last 10 years. In Blue Soap Steel's case it was a common thing for at least trainee ships, it was a really strong place that it was going to be seen so in that case it's going to be a large dent. I personally am not one that was looking at work in that area, I, I myself was looking at cooking, but to put it bluntly, it was everyone's looking for fresh students out of high school that have three years of experience, and well, you can't get three years of experience if you're not old enough to work yet. So it's a lose-lose situation all around. The government's been lately spouting, oh, it'll be there and fixed in the next five years. I'm sorry, it's just going to get so much worse. Government set is nice and sitting comfortably on the money and fat paychecks that they're getting. Their family tends to be set up with jobs because, well, it's not what you know, it's who you know. On the job cuts that Blue Scope Seal have recently made. Um, now, one might ask why they've made such job cuts and my answer simply is the fact that they want more money. It's all about maximising profit, if you ask me. They made promises of four-day work weeks, rah, 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 with more automation. But for some reason, this hasn't happened. Um, they're just cutting jobs, creating less jobs. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. On a grand scale, we're seeing mass job cuts, um, businesses closing down, housing foreclosures, increased levels of poverty. Um, and. I can't see it happening any other way unless we make some changes. Businesses have more power than individuals in terms of laws and protection from things that laws are supposed to be there to do. Um, it almost is as if the government is creating legislations in favour of business. Um, you know, I can't reference any direct evidence for this, even though if you go and have a look, there's heaps of it. And it also shows through in media as well the amount of bias that mass media tends to um, put towards the government and business agenda. What sort of company will turn around and get rid of people that have been working hard for them for the past you know, 20, 30 years? That's a, that's a joke. They should look after their peoples. I've been unemployed now for going on at least 12 months. It's going to make my, my job seeking a lot harder. They think all of us on Centrelink are just dull bludgers. Some of us actually do want to work. I've got family to support. You know, trying to find a house so I can support my, my partner. You know, and what? We get nothing. <laughs>